Hello, thank you for stopping by. My name is Pete with SoftwareMedia.com and today we're going to talk about the key changes in Office from 2013 to 2016. So let's jump right in first with the changes made to Microsoft Outlook. And now you can attach files from cloud storage locations such as OneDrive. Clicking on the attach file icon will now open a menu instead of a browser dialog to attach a file. One of the new options is to browse web locations. This allows you to access your online storage like OneDrive and Office 365 SharePoint without even needing to download the file to your computer first. You'll also notice a new color theme and some few small ribbon changes. There is no more Outlook icon in the top left corner of the window. The first icon is now the Send and Receive icon or whatever you have set as the first icon in the Quick Access Toolbar. You'll also notice that tab headers aren't in all caps anymore. And the question mark icon has been removed and replaced with a light bulb icon with a search field. This is the new tell me what to do function. There is also tablet rotation support for Outlook 2016. A new interface feature that is probably welcomed by most tablet users is the tablet rotation support and responsive design. When you switch your tablet into portrait mode, Outlook will show the message at almost full width of your device to optimize the reading experience. Your original layout settings are remembered when switching between landscape and portrait mode so you don't have to manually resize all your panes again. Now let's dip into the new interactive Tell Me feature. The new light bulb icon in the ribbon with the Tell Me What To Do is a lot more than just a replacement of the Help question mark icon. When you type something in the Tell Me field, you'll actually search through Outlook's list of commands, which are also usable from the list of results. Clicking on the Get Help link will open the regular Help Viewer, and the Smart Lookup link will open an Insights panel in Outlook to perform a web search with Bing. You also have Office 365 group support. When you have Office 365 for Business subscription, that you might already know about, the Office 365 group feature, in short, is basically a shared mailbox you can subscribe to or even create yourself, and also provides a calendar and a shared storage location on OneDrive for business. Outlook 2016 now includes support to create, join, and manage Office 365, so you'll no longer have to do it via Outlook on the web. There is also clutter support, another 365 feature that now can be managed directly from within Outlook is this clutter feature. Clutter is a machine-based learning feature that automatically puts messages that you are most likely to ignore in a clutter folder. It does this based on what you've done with similar messages in the past. Outlook 2016 contains new move to clutter and move to inbox commands in the move menu on the ribbon and in the right click menu to help train the clutter feature. You also receive exchange level search. When you are using an Exchange account in Outlook, either hosted on-prem or on Office 365, searches are now being performed against the search index of Exchange instead of the local Windows search index. This allows for more consistent search results as you'll no longer get different search results between searching across your mailbox in an online mode, cached Exchange mode, or Outlook on web. When you are offline, your search will still be performed against the Windows search index on your computer. There is also more sync slider options. When you only want to cache a portion of your Exchange, IMAP, or Outlook.com account, you now also have the option to only cache three days, one week, or two weeks worth of email. This can be particularly useful when using a device with a very limited amount of storage and or when you receive a lot of emails. Now let's talk about the changes made in 2016 to Microsoft Word. You can now edit using learning tools. New to Word 2016 is the ability to use the learning tools feature while you edit your document. These changes are visual effects only, so edit with learning tools and know that it will print as an original document and others can still edit the document in its original view. You can now use LaTeX syntax in your equations. Word now supports LaTeX math syntax to create and edit math equations. Write equations by selecting the LaTeX format from the Equations tab. You can now insert 3D models to see all the angles. Use 3D models to increase visual and creative impact in your documents, workbooks, presentations, and messages. Easily insert a 3D model and then rotate it 360 degrees 
bringing your 3D models to life. In PowerPoint presentations, with the morph transition, which creates animations in between slides. You also have helpful sounds to improve accessibility. Sound effects can enhance your productivity in Microsoft Office by providing audio cues. Turn on audio cues to guide you as you work. Find it in options, ease of access, no add-in needed. New to Microsoft Excel 2016 is collaborative editing. And now you can work with others at the same time in your workbook. You and your colleagues can open and work on the same Excel workbook. This is called co-authoring. When you co-author, you can see each other's changes quickly, in a matter of seconds even. Now in Excel 2016, it will save automatically for you. Changes are saved automatically for workbooks stored in the cloud, and you can see others' updates in seconds. You can save your files to OneDrive, OneDrive for Business, or SharePoint online. The help has also been replaced with the Tell Me function in Excel 2016. And the Tell Me box is essentially a search function that lists functions and operations matching your search terms. It's a really handy shortcut to get where you want to go. On top of this, there's a Smart Lookup, which will use the internet to search relevant articles on your search term. In 2016, there's been the unveiling of new charts, each with their own specialty uses. The six new charts are as follows. There's histograms, Pareto charts, sunburst charts, waterfall charts, 3D data maps, and box and whisker charts. There's also the get and transform function. Get and transform helps you import data from various data sources. There are the standard options of importing from a CSV file or an Excel workbook, but now you can also choose options such as Facebook, Salesforce, and other programs and packages. Once you've imported your data, it will give you the chance to tidy the data into a usable format. You can also apply the Get and Transform tools to data already in Excel. Forecasting is also a new feature in Excel 2016 and has seen the addition of a one-click statistical forecasting for the data that has a time element associated with it. As long as you have a decent amount of data, it will be able to forecast past your last data point into the future as well as showing levels of confidence at each end of the spectrum. With PowerPoint 2016, there is new design suggestion for charts. When you insert a chart on a slide, PowerPoint Designer recommends layout ideas. There is also revision highlighting. PowerPoint keeps track of changes made in online documents. Turquoise highlights calls your attention to change you haven't seen yet. There's also helpful sounds to improve accessibility. You can turn on the audio cues to guide you as you work, and you can find it in the options, ease of access, no add-in is needed for this feature. There is also collaborative editing in PowerPoint 2016. So changes made to your presentation by others since your last visit are highlighted when you open the document. New to Microsoft OneNote in 2016 is you can now insert videos into a page. You now have the ability to embed videos from Office Mix, Vimo, and YouTube into a page in OneNote. You can now take notes right on the web. With Microsoft Edge, the new browser for Windows 10, you can write on the web. After you take notes or highlight on a web page, you can share your handiwork to OneNote. You can also send notes to yourself in email. With me at OneNote.com, you can send a content from your inbox right to OneNote. Sending email to OneNote is a great way to store important content so you can find it quickly later. If you're on the go and want to send yourself a reminder, just write a quick mail, or if you're using an app with an email this button, you can share it to yourself within an email. There's also the Clip the Web with Clipper. OneNote Clipper is another way to clip the web right to OneNote. When you open Clipper, you can choose to clip an entire page or just part of one. You can even choose what notebook and section to clip it to so you'll know where to find it later. Clipper is a free app that you can get from OneNote.com slash Clipper, and Clipper sits on your browser's favorite bar so it's at your fingertips whenever needed. You can also capture images on your phone with Office Lens. Office Lens is a phone app, 
and it's a great way to capture notes and inform from whiteboards, menus, signs, or anything with a lot of text. You don't need to jot down notes, rely on blurry pictures, or worry about misplacing your notes. It's great for capturing sketches, drawings, e and equations too, and even images without text. Office Lens gets rid of the shadow and odd angles to make sure your images are easier to read. Now let's talk about the benefits of having Microsoft Office 365 as opposed to Office 2016. And with Office 365, you will always have the latest versions of the applications. And your version will continue to receive new feature updates, and PC users also get access to Access and Publisher. With 365, you will also get feature updates. Your version of Office will always be improving, and you will get the latest features and updates from Microsoft. Major upgrades to future versions are also included. And with 365, you can install it on up to five PCs, Macs, and also tablets and any smart device. You will also get one terabyte of OneDrive online storage. You will be able to securely store your files in the cloud and access them from anywhere. You get one terabyte of OneDrive cloud storage per user for up to five users. You also receive technical support, whereas with Office 2016, you will only receive technical support when you are installing the product. And contact us throughout your subscription at no extra cost for help with technical issues or for subscription and billing support. So thank you for tuning in. This was our presentation from softwaremedia.com about the changes from Office 2013 to Office 2016, as well as some of the benefits of Microsoft Office 365. If you have any further questions, you feel free to reach out to us at www.softwaremedia.com. Thank you.